Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're gonna see how this person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. And if you're curious to know why that is, you can follow the link. Um, it's in the description box as well. But let's jump in. How does this person feel about Pisces? Okay, so right away, Pisces, we have the Seven of Cups. We do have the Empress, we have Taurus, Libra energy. Hmm, this person's confused by you, Pisces. Um, Nine of Pentacles, yeah. This is someone who sees you in this Empress energy, Pisces. Does not mean you have to be a female, just about the energy. Um, they see you as someone who has it all. You've got it all together. I feel like you come off very confident, very sure of yourself, very abundant. Um, very nurturing, very kind, like you just have this sort of warm energy about you. You could be a mother, um, if, if that's relevant for you, doesn't mean you have to be. If not, and you hope to be a mother one day, I feel like this person sees this like energy about you that like you would be a good mother one day. Um, if you currently are, I feel like they see you as very giving and compassionate towards your child or children. Um, but this person's confused by you because it, it's almost like, you give off this energy like you don't need anyone. Like you're very independent, you're very good on your own, and you are Pisces. I feel like you've worked really hard to get where you are. And so this person, I'm getting this energy too, or this person feels like they have to keep their options open because they assume that yours are. Um, they see the Empress. So of course the Empress is going to attract a lot of different people, a lot of different potential you know, connections here. So there's someone here who admires all these qualities about you but it's also what makes them feel overwhelmed or like Pisces will probably have other people I should keep my options open too tell me about the seven of cups please oh my we got the ace of wands the page of cups the knight of wands the eight of cups yeah so it's like this person definitely finds you very attractive here Pisces there's definitely a strong chemistry here um physically I feel like you're exactly what this person you know, you're, you're this person's type, basically. It's like they want to let you know that they have a crush on you. It's like they want to start something up here, but then this, like, I have to say it, I just heard it. Then this, like, F-boy energy comes up. I know that women can do that, too. But it's like this person, this person assumes that you're doing it to them, so they're doing it to you. It's like they have this strong... Um, pull towards you the empress energy like you're you're very attractive you're very you know uh like they do they just assume people are around you all the time so it's like this person i mean i definitely feel like they're keeping their options open here pisces i feel like they could even act emotionally distant or maybe they've even walked away from the connection but it's it's because they feel like you're doing it to them first even if you're not um so this person could kind of, it's almost like they, they want to tell themselves, okay, this is just a physical thing. Like I only am attracted to Pisces because of the physical, but the Empress energy is so much deeper than that, right? So it's like this person knows that, but there's almost like a hesitancy to admit that about you here, Pisces. So um, th yeah, there's definitely someone here who's interested, who has a crush on you, who's very, very attracted to you here, but I feel like they're going to be emotionally unavailable or they might even distance themselves because it's like, 
they don't want to get hurt. They don't want to be the fool. They don't want to be the one that you're, they're just an option for you. Um, there's a lot of assuming going on here is what I'm getting Pisces. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you had a suspicion that maybe this person had other people involved, I feel like there is with the seven of cups, the knight of wands, um, could just be physical connections there, like nothing deep, because I feel like this person is like, if they're going to offer their emotions to someone, it's going to be to you, Pisces. But again, they don't feel that it's almost like they feel like you don't feel the same or you wouldn't feel the same. Um, mm -hmm. so some water energy coming through there, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, some fire, um, and Taurus, Libra. Let's see what their actions are towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What options? Sorry, what options? <laughs> That's weird. What actions will this person take? We do have the Ace of Cups. We have the three of wands. So, I mean, there's someone here. And if you're sitting there like there's no one in my life, like the ace of cups just comes out of nowhere, right? So I do feel like this person, like I said, has feelings for you. They want to express themselves. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to let you know that it's not just about the physical. It's almost like they're waiting for the right time here to come forward and tell you. Tell me more about their actions. The queen of wands. Tell me more. Knight of Pentacles. I said put those back. Okay, so I will. Let's try that again. The cards are a little sticky today. Tell me more about their actions, please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. Oh my gosh, like so many cards coming out. Let me just try this again. Tell me about this person's actions, please. Thank you. The Hanged Man, that's your energy, Pisces. Tell me more. They said take them. So the next ones that fall out, I will. But it just feels like a lot is coming out at once. You have the Three of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Cups. You know, Pisces, like there's just someone here. It's like as bad as they want you, they don't want to be the weak one, which is in their eyes sort of like the one who expresses themselves. I feel like you give off this sort of mysterious energy, this like very reserved, very mature energy with that Empress energy. And so I feel like, I just said energy like eight times, sorry. I feel like this person, it's like as much as they wanna come forward and go on a date with you and like they feel like you are like a wish fulfillment here, they also pull back their energy a little bit here. Like they get defensive or they, they don't go full in. I feel like they're coming towards you as as just a queen of wands. Like you're gonna know that this person's very interested in you physically. They're gonna give you a lot of compliments. I feel like they're gonna make you feel really good. Like you know they're attracted to you, but it's so much deeper than that. I feel like when it comes to the emotional part, this person's like, it's like they'll give a little and then they kind of like pull it back a little. Um, there's a lot of cups here. This person is emotionally invested already. Like they have feelings for you. Um, I do feel like they're going to ask you to go on a date here, but it's almost like, like I said, they, they hold back. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, please. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Oh my gosh. You have the Ten of Pentacles. This person wants you long term here, Pisces. They want a relationship. Knight of Swords. It's almost like, and then look at that, the Three of Swords, the Four of Wands at the bottom. It's like this person feels like if they say what they really want if they say Pisces I want this relationship I want to move forward I want you know to be committed to be in something serious here it's not just about the looks that they you might like laugh at them or you might be like I have so many options what makes you so special or like it's like this person's like fears their own fears coming to mind of like Pisces will like rejection right and maybe this person's not used to rejection um so it's almost like it's at a standstill here with that hanged man energy. Like there's definitely an offer coming here, but you might even get a little confused by this person, Pisces, because it's like, do they want me or do they not? Right? And again, there, there's a lot of assuming going on here um, with this person. But a lot of passion, a lot of emotion here, like all these fire and all this fire and uh, earth energy, I feel like, or sorry, water energy, I feel like there's, there's, strong chemistry and there's a strong like you like each other or this person really likes you at least here pisces um so there is an offer coming here it just feels like 
person doesn't want to rush into it to tell you that they can see long term here, but it's like their own insecurity, their own fear here. It's almost like this person would say like, oh my God, one day we'll get married, da 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 da, like on the first date. And you might look at them funny or you might be like, what? And they're like, oh, just kidding. But in their mind, they're like, I could actually see myself one day being with someone like Pisces or with Pisces, right? And then so they kind of revert to this, like, let me just make it all about their looks. Let me tell them how attractive they are. Let me like make all these, uh, you know, comments about their clothes, their face, their body, their whatever. And so you might get this idea, this person only wants one thing. Right, but there, it's it's deeper than that. Let's see this person's intention. There's definitely a message coming in here though, Pisces. So if there's no one in your life right now, like I said, the aces are like coming out of nowhere new. This person definitely has a crush on you. They're interested. Um, they want more than what they're letting on is what I'm saying. Well, but let's see their intentions because I want to understand what is going on with this person. What is this person's intentions with Pisces? Wow, we have the Emperor, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Four of Swords. What does this person truly want deep down? They want to be your Emperor. They want to be your counterpart. They want to be your other half here. They, they want to step up to the plate, right? They, You are their wish fulfillment. They kind of know this right away. We got Nine of Cups twice. This person feels really good with you here, Pisces, but there is this energy of like, they feel like they need to protect themselves from you, even though you're not doing anything. It's just like, maybe it's almost like a good, too good to be true here energy. Um, but this person sees you as their perfect match. We have the emperor and the empress. They could be an Aries. Um, they want to make you, it's almost like they want you to fall for them first because then they know you feel the same. They are already falling, but they're like, I got to make sure Pisces falls for me. So they might like, like I said, they might take you out on a nice date. They might even spend money with this 10 of pentacles. They might you know, um, say a lot of, like a lot of compliments. Like I said, make those jokes about, oh, one day we'll be, we'll, with, with our children or when we're, when we're living together or something like that. Like, it's like they're joking, but they're not at the same time. Um, anything else for intentions? This person wants to step up here. <clears throat> we have the world, the hanged man. So they're closing out the cycle of the standstill. Like what they really want is to just like move to the next phase. This, with this Knight of Swords, I feel like this person likes to move things along quickly. They're like, let's just hurry up and get there. Let's, you know, um, do this thing. Like, what are we waiting for? But they're, they don't know how you feel is what I just keep getting here. So there is this energy of like, they feel like they have to protect themselves, but they want to close out this cycle of, of it standing still. They're like, they're ready to go. They want this to happen. They're ready to be the emperor here. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, their intentions look good, Pisces. Like, it's like they do want to make you happy. You make them really happy. They want to move things along here. Anything else about the world? Knight of Wands. So they want to stop this. Like, the world is all about closing out cycles, right? It's about complete one cycle start anew so what are they closing out the standstill the games the hot and cold the you know here today gone tomorrow they don't want to do that they want to be the emperor they they want to make you just as happy as you make them and i don't even feel like you have to try very hard here pisces i feel like you just make this person really fulfilled um and they're very attracted to you but let's see the potential outcome. What is the potential outcome? We have the world, or sorry, the wheel of fortune, the devil, Capricorn energy. What is the devil? Strength, it's overcoming this fear. It's like divine timing here. Like, like it's almost like needing to go through this first phase of like, does Pisces like me? Is it too much? Am I looking into this too strongly? Um, maybe I'll be hot and cold too. Maybe I'll keep my options open too. To just realize like, I don't want to do like, ugh. and for some of you, you might be like, they put me through, if you already know who this is, they put me through way too much. Now they want to come back around. Like obviously use your discernment. I don't, I don't condone any sort of like abuse, emotional, mental, spiritual, physical in any way, but it just feels like this person's getting over their fear in divine timing here. Like, it's like, you can't rush this. You can't make it happen you can't make this person feel like just like you can't as, as far along as this person wants to be and they're like i'm ready to go if you're wanting to take it more slow you can't rush you and that you can't rush this person into feeling like 
you actually want them the same. Like, it's like you're both, how do I put that? They wanna know that you feel the same and you wanna take your time. It could be vice versa, Pisces. Um, but it's happening here in divine timing. Anything else? Put the potential here. We do have the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> potential outcome, please, for Pisces and this person. Spirit, I feel like it's this one. Eight of Swords, uh, a lot of, uh, we have the Star, we have the Ten of Wands. It feels like just a lot of getting over things, getting over their own mind, getting over insecurities, healing, you know, um, even temptation here, if they were, had, did have other options. It's like, there's going to be this like aha moment. It's almost feeling like tower energy, but not because it was already in the process um, of just a new phase here with this person. Like this, But it's like this person emerging out of their own shell, like to stop being so insecure, to stop overthinking, to just feel the feels. Maybe this is you, Pisces. Um, but the star, there is hope here. We have Aquarius, Leo, Capricorn energy. Anything else for the potential outcome? It just feels like a lot of inner work here. Um, we do have the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So I do feel like there will be an offer here, but it's almost like this person feels like... This person sees you, Pisces, and they feel like they have to come at it a different way. Like they have to... Maybe than what you would want. You would want someone to come forward with the emotion or the honesty, whatever. Maybe this person's coming forward more with like, uh, let me buy you stuff or take you out or... Yeah, like they just feel, I feel like this person's self-worth is tied to either like their own looks or their money or their career. Like they don't feel valuable just by themselves. So I feel like that's something that they're working on here. Obviously, you're not here to fix anyone, Pisces. Um, but there is an offer here. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, please. Knight of Cups. Yeah, you see? Same energy. Like, this person is coming forward here. But there is some other cycle closing out here. It's like they are they have to get over this own fear, and there's no time for that. That's in divine timing. Right? Anything else for the potential outcome? So they do want to date you, because we've got the Seven of Wands, right? It's like that back to that defensive energy. Seven of Wands, Queen of Wands. So they're, they're, it's, like they're, it's like their way of putting up the wall is to just make it about the physical. It's almost like to make you think that it's just about the physical because then if you don't reciprocate and you're like, I don't like this person like that, then they're like, oh, well, I, it was just physical anyway. I was just attracted to you. When in reality, that's not it at all. So a bit immature here if you ask me, Pisces, but that's what I'm getting. Tell me who this person is. How will Pisces know? Nine of Wands, Queen of Cups. This person has a lot of love to give, but they're, they're, they're very hurt. They are the wounded warrior. They're someone who has their wall up. They're someone who is afraid to open up. Tell me more. Eight of Wands. It's like as fast as they want to move this along. And then we got Eight of Pentacles. You're getting Eight Eight. Um, could be a work thing. Doesn't have to be. It, it, it's almost like. It's like this person wants to skip ahead to we're in a relationship, we both are committed, we're both here, just so I know that you feel the same. So I know you're not interested in anyone else. But instead of saying that, they they like shimmy their way around it. Like they're like, I, it, I don't know, I don't know if I'm explaining it properly. This person isn't direct. <laughs> I'll just put it like that. Like there's no swords on the board, right? Like I feel like it's all about the passion and there's a lot of emotion here, but this person sucks at communicating. But they do have a big heart. They're coming through as the Queen of Cups. Like this is someone who loves deeply. But it's almost like the people they let into their circle of, of love, they're very careful about now because of this Nine of Wands, because they've been through some things. So they don't know if you're going to hurt them or not, Pisces, but they do see you as a perfect match here. Any advice for Pisces? Any advice for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far judgment two of cups the moon pisces this is a soulmate your advice here is give it a chance like you feel something here because what i feel like is happening is this person's insecurities are like tainting the connection but i feel like you understand that pisces you understand insecurities you understand overthinking you understand not wanting to get hurt 
this person is not saying all those things, but it's like you can tell. You're very intuitive, your energy here. Like you can look underneath the layers. You can look past the surface behaviors and know what this person's actually trying to say and what they actually mean, but they're not saying it, right? So this is a strong connection with the two of cups here and the judgment card is the card of second chances. So maybe it's just giving this person a chance, connecting to your higher self here. Any Anything else for advice? Anything else for advice? We have the tower and the six of wands. So Scorpio energy here could be a Scorpio. I mean, expect the unexpected, but it's like, I do feel like there is an opportunity for this. There's growth here, right? And I, and I, what's coming through to me really strongly is, um, you know, we, there's like this narrative sometimes of like, you have to be fully healed before you meet your person. And it's like, well, healing never stops. So how do you know that you're, like you're never fully healed right you just have to find someone who understands your healing journey who is supportive of it right um you can work together kind of kind of thing it's almost like this person is so insecure about their insecurities that they want to pretend like they don't exist so they're going about this in a way of like flirty chemistry sexual like compliments gifts nice dates but they're not saying what they need to say but expect the unexpected here because I feel like with the tower energy, it's almost like breaking down any walls of yours too here, Pisces. Feeling really good. Six of Wands. Anything else about that tower? The Four of Wands, the Page of Wands. This can turn into a commitment. It might just seem like it's just flirting at first, but like remain curious is what I'm getting here. Like be open. If this is something you want, Pisces, if you're like, no, I don't want this at all. This sounds like a mess, then obviously not. But it does feel like this person wants to step up. They just, it's almost like, it's not like they don't know how. It's like they just need time. Any messages for Pisces? Whoa, okay. Hammer, sabotage and rebuild, persistent, working on it, repairing right? So definitely a lot of work. They got the eight of pentacles, which is like putting your head down and getting it done, right? So I do feel like this person wants to work on their guard being up because we have coffin, new beginnings, liberation, reborn and transition, tragic endings. The dragonfly, lighthearted and adapt, finding out and change, things coming to light and heal. Three cards back to back of like transition, rebuilding, working on it, you know, changing, like it's, and so that's what I'm saying. Like, we, you can be like, well, I don't want to meet someone who's, who's still working on themselves. It's like, but we're always working on ourselves. And again, obviously you might be like, this person's not my person, but the two of cups did come through, which is a soulmate. Soulmates are people that were, it's not an accident that you meet them. You have like a soul contract before you come here. You're supposed to meet them here on earth. Um, so there is going to be a very strong bond between the two of you. I feel like this person makes it all about the physical, but in reality, that's not what, what they're actually thinking. They will be sweet to you, but it, they their communication is not very strong. Um, any messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. A stubborn, aggressive person. I mean, the Emperor can be that sometimes, right? So maybe this person is stubborn. <clears throat> Fly, a period of ill health, depression. I mean, that didn't come through, but it could be that someone is experiencing that, you or them. And then, well, family wishes come true. So some sort of family wish happening here. Pig, beware of greed. Interesting. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Interesting. I feel like it's against this like aggressive person. Who is this aggressive person? Or this like greedy person. I feel like the Seven of Swords wanted to come out. Who is this aggressive or like greedy person, please, Spirit? Who is this aggressive or speedy, speedy, greedy person? We have the Chariot. Could be a Cancer. Someone at a distance. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. You know, they came through as the King of Pentacles, so they could have a Queen of Pentacles that they moved away from that is trying to still be involved in the money, or maybe that's you, um, someone that they did share assets with. Yeah, I see the King of Wands, the Six of Cups at the bottom. 
Yeah, it just feels like it could be some, or maybe it's a business partnership or something like that. Um, but beware of that. Let's see if there's any hidden messages for you here, Pisces. Yes, there is. I feel unbalanced and uneasy. I don't know what to do to fix it. So you see, it's like, it's like they're grappling with their own emotions. My focus is on my life. I can't be bothered to worry about you. They could even like say things like that to you um, or that emotional distance that I was getting, that eight of cups. I have things going on in my life that require my full attention. Like my focus is on my life, things going on in my life. So maybe there's some sort of money situation that they're dealing with right now. Um, you speak to me through music. So I could have shared music with this person. I want to be more than friends. So you see there is someone here who has strong feelings for you, but they're, they don't know how to say it. I knew I was losing you, but I didn't do anything to fight for you. For, so for those of you who feel like you kind of already went through some of this, they didn't really do anything to fight for the situation, to let you know that they were more interested than they actually were. It was my fault, but I blamed you. You have become too difficult for me to handle. That's a big turnoff. I knew exactly what I was doing. I feel like this person is like, like with that seven of wands, like they're defensive. Like it's almost like they can't take accountability here. It's difficult for me to process my emotions. I am not available right now. So this person is going through it emotionally, but it's like when they go through that, they retreat. I will wait for a sign from you. So you see, it's like, I don't want you, I want you. I don't want you, I want you. I smile on the outside, but I'm dying on the inside. So a lot going on internally again, especially with their thoughts. I tried to run from this connection, but my soul craves you. That's what happens with soulmates. I feel alone and in the dark. Where is my light? You see? You and I were too young. So maybe this is someone you've already dealt with. Um, I don't react when people mention you. I feel like there's a couple more. Okay, that's it. Thank you, spirit. I feel you leaving me behind. I want you. I hid who I really am from you. So this person's afraid to be their authentic self, to put their real self out there because they feel like they'll get rejected, especially by an empress. That would sting a lot. So they treat you like a queen of wands instead. They treat it like it's like just a physical, they're just very attracted. It's just about just about the chemistry, just about, you know, let me buy you a nice thing or whatever. But in, And I feel like they will be sweet to you, but then they pull it back. Um, so, I mean, the Five of Swords didn't come out, but it feels like games, right? We did get improving health. So again, I feel like there is a lot of healing in this potential outcome here. Um, we got forgiveness. Sometimes it is of the other person. Sometimes it's of ourselves. Forgive ourselves for things we did or said right um and then we got reconsidered so that was your advice too like there could be another chance here for the two of you especially because it is a soulmate connection here um let's see we got loneliness i know that i am never alone so even if this doesn't work out or it's not working out or you know sometimes loneliness can um make us feel like there's something wrong with us, right? And that's not the case. We have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And you got that wheel of fortune, the lucky wheel, things changing for the better here um, in the potential outcome. So I'm needing some patience. We got service. I feel good when I can help others. And then we got imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. And I see happiness. So um, remember, thoughts become things. Ooh, I'm getting like magician energy with that imagination there. Um, any messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? Prosperity lies ahead, Taurus energy. So good, good, good. Your dreams need a practical plan, more Taurus energy. So I feel like this is very work-related, especially with that service card. If you're thinking of doing something, Pisces, in terms of like work or side hustle or something like that, do it. Do it. Um, meditate and contemplate. That's your energy there, Pisces. I feel like there's one more. You're very close to achieving your goal. Keep going. 
Pisces, I don't know what you're working on or what you're doing, or even if it's about this person like coming around and getting over that fear, right? I feel like it's there because the potential did have that Knight of Cups, that Ace of Pentacles, a fresh start here, a new beginning. So I feel like it's there. There's just like almost like a phase that needs to happen first. Um, any messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. Unfinished Symphony. Very fitting, Pisces, because I feel like there's like a start and stop with this person. And then this one landed like this. So I'll read the upright and the protection. They said one more. Okay, one more for Pisces. We got number 10 and number 46 and number 13. So number 10, unfinished symphony. Moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied you. It's important to achieve this for yourself. Write that letter, make that call, or have that conversation over a cup of coffee. For peace of mind, accept matters as they are, make amends if need be, and declare your feelings if, even if only to yourself. Be clear about what was left unresolved and close the door on the past so you can set yourself free. Only then can new love blossom. So this could mean that like, I'm getting like a couple things, like unfinished business with this person. But if there's something from the past, like this, per like the wounded warrior doesn't happen because for overnight. This is like, you know, a buildup of experiences that make you guarded, right? So I feel like it's coming through as this person's energy. It could be yours as well, Pisces. It's like needing to close the past, needing to close out the fear, overcome this fear, overcome some sort of obstacle here that is holding back. And it could be this person and it could be you. It does lead to, you know, potential here. But I feel like, and for some of you, you're like, no, I just need to close the door with this person. It's not going anywhere, right? But, um... Take it as it resonates but let's see now we have 46 so i said i'll read both of them the world is based on connections and relationships no matter what loss has occurred in the past again or even now death and endings are only illusions there is life after death love after loss and in this moment you are radiating the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms um, now is the time you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. And then we also have endings come in many forms and now is the time to stop holding on to what must die so that something better can take its place. Nature's cycles include disease, decay, death, and regeneration. Let whatever isn't working in your life die. Don't be afraid to face the facts. There is no need to struggle or grieve. Whatever your query, let it go. You're about to be reborn. So two cards back to back, Pisces, really emphasizing this need to like not let the past hold you back. Um, whether, and maybe it's not you, maybe it's this person, right? But we all come with experiences, with thoughts, with beliefs based on what's happened, right? So, um, and again, healing never stops. You got the star energy too. Like there is hope here. Uh, yeah, okay. You've reached a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship. Which will you choose? To open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated? To go deeper and commit to mutual passion or to walk away? This is a time to take responsibility for your truest desire and follow it. Be honest with yourself about what you're willing to do, invest and give, and then choose. You cannot make a wrong choice. If you move forward with a relationship, know it will be true. It will be based in truth and authenticity. You will have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you're afraid of the intensity of a genuine connection. All roads lead to the lessons you must learn in your relationships. Regardless of the decisions you make, of the decision you make, it will place you on a path to a truer experience of the heart. So really needing to make a choice here, Pisces, I guess, is what uh, is coming through. These could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got H, E, 
y f number one number six seven eight so six seven eight things are happening as they're supposed to here pisces so i do hope something here resonated if it did please let me know in the comments down below please like share subscribe if you feel drawn to do so thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy sending you so much love and light